guys welcome back to another weekly vlog this is week two thank you so much for all the feedback on the last one i really appreciated it and i'm so excited to hear that you are actually all enjoying these um i'm actually really enjoying filming them and i had a really really good time editing it actually because you know obviously last week we went and visited so many wedding venues um it was just awesome to kind of be able to see it all again and i guess relive it a little bit all over again um so yeah thank you thank you thank you so much um today is sunday and today's already been a little bit messed up for me <laughs> i had grand plans this morning we went out for dinner last night and i had the most amazing lamb ragu oh my mouth like waters just even thinking about it um this morning i was like oh I want to make lamb ragu and I was obsessed and I was so excited but then I ended up having to work all day so I've pretty much spent all of my Sunday I mean I was you know I did my workout and stuff this morning I did a couple of other things this morning um, but I've pretty much spent my entire day working <laughs> so I did not vlog any of that because I'm sure you have no interest in watching me type away on my computer um, but it's dinner time now it's nearly 20 past six I'm gonna make some dinner Sadly, it's not going to be lamb ragu because mm, I feel like that's like if it's slow cooked, it's got to be cooked for hours and hours and hours. So I'm going to have some Hello Fresh for dinner. Love Hello Fresh. We've, funnily enough, we've actually been getting Hello Fresh, ordering Hello Fresh for over a year now. It's like a year and actually it's nearly over a year and a half. How crazy is that? I'm obsessed with it. I just think it's delicious. Um, everyone's always like, oh, are you sponsored by Hello Fresh? I'm not at all sponsored by Hello Fresh. I just think it's delicious and. I really like the food so I, I keep on getting it and I keep on talking about it on my Instagram. I do have a discount code somewhere. It's not like an affiliate code or anything. It's just a code that they give you like when you order it and it gets you $50 off your first box. Um, I'll, I'll pop it on the screen if I can find it. You're welcome to use it if you want to try it out. Um, but I'm having a hard time deciding what to cook for dinner tonight. And I'm only cooking for me tonight. Brandon has gone away on his fishing trip. So he's not going to be back until late Thursday night. So me and the Poms are home alone for the next five days. Um, so yeah, I guess if I cook one of these, I'll just get to eat it all, don't I? <laughs> Here are our options. Rizzoni. Baked potatoes, they look pretty damn good. They're usually really, really good. Oh, but there's pasta. <sighs> Ooh, maybe I'll eat the pasta. I love pasta so much. It's like my favorite food. Loaded beef fajita bowl. Yeah, I'm thinking I might make the pasta. Okay, I'm just pulling out all of the ingredients. I feel like this one might be pretty quick to cook, which makes me very happy. If you don't know anything about it, basically it's like little meal kits that come in little bags. I just keep them in the fridge, I'll show you. I just keep them all at the top of the fridge there. <laughs> Remember how I told you guys I've gone crazy on cherry tomatoes? I was not lying. Oh, Brandon's gone nuts on olives, actually. Look, I've got like four punnets. I ate most of this punnet today. Obsessed. Also obsessed with berries. We keep so many berries in the fridge because I love them so much. But I'm going to make this. And I'm also just catching up with um, Married at First Sight on my laptop. There's a new episode on tonight. And I need to catch up on it. And I need to catch up on it so that I can watch tonight and gossip about it with my friends. <laughs> I've actually also added some zucchini from our garden. You know, any chance to get a bit more greens in. Honestly, oh, I was chopping it up and I pretty much ate half of it while I was chopping it. Fruit and veg that you grow yourself, it always just tastes so much better. Amazing. Oh, <laughs> look how massive this meal ended up being. Probably half of this is gonna go in the fridge, but I'm gonna give it a go. So I've got my dinner and married at first sight has just started. Let's do this. So maths is finished, but for the last 20 minutes, I was brushing this little monkey and look at how much fluff has come out of her. I could like, I could probably fill a pillow. <laughs> Annabelle, don't eat it. Annabelle does this weird thing where she always tries to eat the fluff that we brush off them. <laughs> ah, but yeah, Emmy's adult coat, it's coming through, isn't it? Yeah, you're getting rid of your puppy coat and your adult coat's coming through. Look at how poofy she is now. Oh, she loves it. Look at me, I'm beautiful. Look at me. You are too, Georgie. Good morning guys, so it's Monday morning now. The first thing that I do when I wake up is I take the puppies outside 
to do their business and we wait <laughs> because if we don't wait we get accidents inside i'm super super tired this morning but like the biggest bags underneath my eyes Ooh, i ended up going to sleep really really late last night why i did that i i don't know it's i wasn't i wasn't planning on it but it just happened <laughs> so yeah i get out of bed i'm actually gonna go upstairs and make the bed i'll take you with me for that but um first thing that i do is i drink half a liter of water it just makes me feel so much better I take the girls out and then i have to do my workout and if i don't it's like this weird thing if i don't do my work okay the puppies are upstairs can you hear that <laughs> if i don't do my workout first thing in the morning it's like i just don't do it like it has to be the very first thing that i do so that's what i'm gonna do now these pomeranians honestly sleep in the strangest places look look at you hey <laughs> you look pretty cozy in there annabelle <laughs> So pretty much whenever we can't find her, she's nearly always nine times out of ten sleeping in here. And look, rolling on her back, being like, excuse me, I think you should rub my belly. You are just a little angel, aren't you, darling? I would have ten poms. If Brandon would let me have ten, I would have ten. <laughs> Come here, Emma. The poms, they... <laughs> They honestly make making the bed so hard. They just keep jumping up on the bed and like try to bury themselves under the blanket. It's the cutest thing ever. Can you get off for me so I can make the bed? Would that be okay? <laughs> oh, hey, Emma. Hey. Hey. I told you to get down. But you don't want it, do you? You just don't want it. You got a move? And there we go. <laughs> Are you going to stay there while I do my workout? Or do you want to come downstairs? I wish they could talk. I, I spent quite a lot of time actually wondering... Like, what are they thinking in this moment? And what would they say in response to half of the things that we say to them? Quite fascinated by exactly what they would say. And even what their voices would sound like. I love our girls so much. I just feel so, so lucky to have them, honestly. Oh, they're amazing. We've had to put this little temporary step in at the end of the bed for Annabelle. She doesn't like, I mean, they shouldn't jump off high surfaces, but she's actually got a shoulder injury. She's been getting acupuncture, which is the most hilarious thing, I think, of my entire life. <laughs> she's got like, she gets better holistic health than the rest of us do. <laughs> this is where Fifi spends most of her evenings and nights, up here on the stairs. Say hi, Fifi. Hello. I am Fifi. Oh, and Annabelle has returned. Come on, girls, let's go. Oh. I've usually well and truly started my workout by this time of morning, but we're a little bit late today. That's okay. <laughs> going on a little picnic with some friends today so I'm just packing some lunch and some snacks I'm doing up like a salad I've got some eggs boiling we don't really have much food I need to do a serious grocery shop but I've got some berries I've got raspberries strawberries blackberries and some grapes in here my favorite cherry tomatoes I'm halfway through chopping these up gotta be quick because I'm seriously running out of time my workout took way longer than it was meant to <laughs> and what is also exciting is I'm gonna add to my salad some lettuce from our own garden. Yes, honestly, if you've never grown your own fruit and vegetables, I'll tell you right now, nothing ever tastes better than the stuff that you grow yourself. It's like next level delicious. How many leaves shall we grab? I'm just gonna grab one off like each lettuce. I planted them all at once because I didn't think that they'd all take and now we have like so much lettuce. Maybe some spring onion in the salad too. Got our zucchini plant, our beetroots are doing well. This is our herb garden. Oh no, the coriander's gone to seed. Oh, I need to come back out and trim that out. Um, thyme, lemon thyme, um, more basil. I think that's lemon basil, regular basil, rosemary, and we've got heaps of strawberries too. 
I've got some couscous like cooking away in there, steaming away I should say, as well. And then here she is all finished. It's not very exciting. It's really just all that I could find in the house and in the garden. So cherry tomatoes, couscous, lettuce, beetroot, spring onion and eggs. And I just made my own dressing with some olive oil, uh, white wine vinegar and lemon and salt and pepper. Okay, I gotta jump in the shower. We're in Walhalla. I don't know if this is gonna work. If I zoom in, there's a little dude standing up playing bagpipes on the rock up there. What is even happening? Are you doing an unboxing haul <laughs> with your picnic? What have you got? Grapes? Crystal's bought grapes on the picnic. <laughs> Tasha's bought chocolate biscuit lollies. And do you know what I've got? I've got. Donna. I've got fruit and nuts. I I'm so lame sauce. in comparison to all this chocolate dipping, <laughs> chocolate dipping sauce off of the straws. Yeah, got some straws. This looks amazing, like you guys. Lolly. I love all the lollies that Tasha's in. Yeah. Look at these little lunch boxes, aren't well, they adorable? Healthy food. You balance it out. Yeah. yeah. Picnicking is all done, and I think we're actually going to go for a bit of a hike, a bit of a bush yeah. bushwalk now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've got some little friends here. Say hi. Um, yeah, bushwalk up there. I don't know if you can see, it's quite high up. Uh, pray for me. My legs are so sore from the gym, so we'll see how it goes. The bagpipe man is still. Oh, look at these ones. <laughs> oh, they're so funny. It's beautiful. This is Walhalla in Victoria, just in case you're wondering. I love this place, it's one of our faves. Oh, we just went up all these steps. Oh, there's this bagpipe guy. He fully stands out here on this ledge and plays the bagpipe, I'm pretty sure, all day. The view is stunning. Australia is so beautiful, honestly. Look at going on here. Wow. This is so Outlander, guys. <laughs> this is so Outlander. The fresh air, too. Hey. I know. We should come here more often. We could come up for like when we do our brunch dates. Yeah. We should do them up here. How okay, cool. Okay, so uh, I'm back from our little picnic, you guys. The most embarrassing thing like literally ever happened. <laughs> I must have eaten something funny. I don't know if... It, like, because I ate eggs before I left, and I don't know, maybe if one of the eggs that I ate in my salad was, like, a little bit funny or something. I had a situation. <laughs> I'm still dying because it's honestly just so hilarious. So, we were walking around up through Walhalla, like, up through, like, on top of the hill and stuff. I think it was about a three-kilometer walk all up. Halfway through the walk, I start to get really bad stomach cramps, like, really, really bad. And I'm sweating, and I'm like, guys, I need to go to the toilet. Like, we ain't mucking around here. <laughs> got worse and worse and worse. We were so far from a public toilet, and I was like, I'm going to have a bridesmaid's moment. We all remember that movie, right? We all remember what happens. What she does in the wedding dress in the middle of the road, right? <laughs> I thankfully made it to the toilet, but it was not pretty. I was sweating bullets and uh, huge apologies to the other people that were in like the public toilet vicinity. <laughs> I was so mortified. I was like, oh my God. My stomach was so upset though. Um, that's That never happens to me. Like literally it never happens. So that was fun. <laughs> but I am back home now. It is 4.30. I've just got some work to do for the rest of the afternoon and then I might take the puppies for a walk. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I just can't believe that just happened. Oh, oh, my stomach's still like quite upset too. Like it's still not happy. Oh my goodness. I am so excited you guys. I just got this incredible package from So Now Licious. And Emma is demanding all the attention right now. <laughs> Maria from So Now Licious, she, if you haven't heard of her or you haven't seen any of her work or anything, she's absolutely incredible. She just, like, honestly, go check out her Instagram. She's amazing at nail art. And she has sent through all of these incredible nail stickers. I have been on, like, a real, like, I'm having a moment with nail art and nail stickers. 
I am so excited to try all of these out and just have like the cutest nails ever. Do we want to? What do we think? I really love all these floral ones. They're really, really beautiful. I feel like I might do my nails um, tonight. The Prince Harry and Meghan with Oprah interview is airing here tonight in Australia. So I might watch that and do my nails. Look at these little stars. Oh, I love it. And she sent some of her um, nail art brushes too. I am going to have a party. I can hear the cat meowing, but I can't find her. Maybe she's upstairs. I think she's upstairs. Let's have a look. Oh, maybe she got locked in one of these bedrooms today. Oh, she is up here. Oh, Emma's toy. Oh, there you are. You must be hungry and ready for your dinner. Okay, so it's Tuesday morning now, and unfortunately today is going to be another extremely unexciting work day. I've got meetings, I've got emails to do, I've got thumbnails to edit, I've got videos to edit. I'm pretty much going to be on my computer all day. Um, I do have an event this morning, a Zoom event, obviously because of like the pandemic and stuff. They've moved all of our, like we used to go to events and stuff in Sydney, so now they're all online. So I've got one of them this morning. And then tonight, it's Tuesday, so I'm going back around to my friend's house. We're going to watch Married at First Sight together again. Um, and I might make some dessert, maybe. I'm just making a cup of tea this morning, and I can't figure out what I'm in the mood for. I'm going with banana bake. This is sadly discontinued, and I bought like five boxes of it because I couldn't bear to be without it. So I'm going to make this one. Making my usual oatmeal for breakfast this morning, but this time I've added in chia seed. I did used to eat a lot of chia seed. It's real, it's got heaps and heaps of fiber in it. Um, it's quite yummy, so I'm gonna cook this. Not a bad consistency. I'm, <laughs> I'm one of those weirdos that's really fussy about porridge consistency. Brandon likes it quite firm. And I like it kind of like in the middle, not too runny, not too firm. It's literally Goldilocks and the three bears. <laughs> this looks good. I'm impressed. And some mixed berries. These are the leftovers from the um, picnic yesterday. I thought I might as well use them. And there we go. Breakfast is served. Okay, this may very well be my new favorite. It's delicious. It tastes exactly the same as like regular oatmeal, but like this amazing like creamy consistency. Mmm, I'm obsessed. So I've got to quickly eat this. This event is starting soon. Um, I'm just doing my emails on my laptop here. Sorry, today's no fun. Mmm, 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 mmm. I love this banana tea so much. <laughs> oh, actually, while we're here, I watched the uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle interview with Oprah last night. What are your thoughts? What do you guys think? I thought it was heartbreaking to be completely honest. Like, and what they've been through and what she's been through and it was so sad. But yeah, let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts? Are you team Royals or are you team Harry and Meghan? Let me know. All right, so my work is all done for the day. It's now 6.26, I ended up working quite late. Um, I am, uh, I'm gonna go to my friend's house and we're gonna watch Married at First Sight now. We are calling it our Mathathon and we do it every Tuesday. Um, yeah, I've just fed the babies and yeah. I'm actually gonna walk up to my friend's house because I have not shut my move rings today. Get this, I have actually shut all three of my Apple rings since the 1st of January. All three, every single day. It's a challenge now and I'm not willing to break it. <laughs> Can we talk about how this is absolutely the cutest thing I've ever seen? <sighs> They're cuddling together on the armchair. <laughs> Hello, little ones. You having fun? So they basically sit on this armchair and like watch people walk past out the front and say hello. And hello usually means barking. <laughs> girls are just so beautiful. You're best friends. And you look the same colour in this light too. And you're gorgeous too, Amy. You're gorgeous too. So I'm just about to start my workout for the day. Gotta get it right now. Yeah,
So I usually just start with like a lower, like a warmer weight to get my back warmed up. Um, that was only 50 kilos, but to go any heavier, I actually have to wear a weight belt. I do have a bulging disc in my back. I actually don't think it's something that I've ever really spoken about on YouTube. Lots of back issues, lots of back pain. So I have to be really, really careful and like make sure that I protect everything whenever I'm lifting like quite heavy weight. Um, these things are a godsend. cushions off the couch in the theater because I was cleaning it and evidently <laughs> they've been claimed are these yours now are they darling it's so funny she like hangs around for hours with a toy in her mouth never ever ever puts it down like she will she will stay like this for hours I've even like fully brushed her fully like trimmed her paws and stuff and she kept the toy in her mouth it is so adorable my workout is all done now i've got to quickly have some breakfast feed the pommies and then i am filming a foundation review that i'm so excited about you guys this has gone viral online apparently it is a total game changer so i was finally able to order it it's been sold out for like ever um, I'm going to be doing a full first impressions and wear test on this today. Fingers crossed. It is just as amazing as everyone says it is. Okay, so it's lunchtime now. Six minutes past 12. I haven't had breakfast. I've been so naughty today. So I'm making that same porridge that I cooked yesterday. It was honestly delicious and like texture totally up there. Um, the mailman keeps knocking on the door today. We've had heaps of PR delivered. It's like the leaning tower of boxes. This is not PR. This I purchased myself. I got another pair of slippers. <laughs> Do you want to see them? I've got 25 pairs now. Oh, I also want to know. Would you guys actually be interested in seeing like a slipper haul? <laughs> I have issues. Some people collect, I don't know, designer handbags and things like that. I collect slippers. That's the kind of girl I am. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know, do you want to see like a slipper haul of all of the slippers that I've got? It's embarrassing, but I also love it. <laughs> I'm going to open up some of these PR. Obviously the most important one first, my new slippers. Basically, if you don't know anything about my slipper in my slipper obsession. Uh, Emu Australia makes the most amazing like little slip on slippers. They're the most comfortable things ever. You can wear them inside, outside. Um, and every time they bring out a new color, I collect it. <laughs> Have I got problems? Quite probably. I even like troll the internet sometimes to try and find them because they are sold at other retailers. So today's new slippers, these are the Mayberry Lava in the chestnut shade. I've actually been trying to buy these off free people. Um, for oh my gosh they're beautiful too um off free people for the longest time but they were always sold out look oh obsessed yes absolutely in love with these look how gorgeous they look oh they're so fluffy and comfortable Pair number 25, welcome to the family. And like I said, let me know if you want to see like a slipper collection video because honestly, nothing would bring me greater joy than to film that and just drink a cup of tea. Oh, would be the best. All right, so that is that one. Do you like my Harry High Pants situation? I've got giant tracksuit pants on today. So next up, we have a package from Laura Mercier. Oh, I love it when they do handwritten notes. It makes it so much better. More personal and really nice. Oh, looks like a new concealer. Oh, I love this. It's a correcting shade and a brightening shade. Oh, cute. They're centered in like this cute little bag. It's a really nice little um, cosmetic bag, actually. And then this is the product. Oh, let me know if you want to see these in a video. These look really interesting. I'm not sure who this one's from, but let's get into it. Oh, this is from Zit Sticker. I love Zit Sticker. These are these amazing, they're like little patches that you put on acne spots. They work so, 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 so well. Um, maybe they've done like a new, this is on a new launch or something. Oh, so excited about that. Oh, this one's from Glass House. This is a new limited edition Mother's Day candle. Pretty damn excited to smell this. They've sent chocolate that's got the same print on it. Okay, that is easily the coolest thing I've ever seen. 
<gasps> oh, I'm going to eat that later. And then this here is the candle. How beautiful. Ode to women. It's cashmere and wild lavender scented. Let's smell it. Okay, packaging is stunning. I actually did this really awesome um, event with the founder yesterday. What an incredibly fascinating woman she is. Oh, that smells delicious. Really clean. Oh, okay. I might burn that this afternoon. Thank you so much, Glass House. And then last but not least, ooh, Pat McGrath. Personalized note from Pat McGrath herself. How insane. Nikia, my gorgeous. Turn your lips on with the latest in liquid matte majorness. Kisses, Pat. Oh my God. Oh, that's so cool. They've done like a liquid lipstick set legendary wear matte lipstick i love the formula of these let me know if you want to see swatches how amazing Okay, today is Thursday and I am so excited because today is the day that Brandon gets home. I'm hoping he'll be home before dinner. I just missed him so much. Um, it's about a six hour drive like where he went fishing. So yeah, he's got a long day ahead of him, but yeah, I'm really, really, really excited. Not much fun going on today either. I'm pretty much working all day again. I pretty much work all day every day during the week. So yeah. The babies are here, looking extra adorable as always. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep working and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later on, I think. So I filmed a foundation declutter yesterday. Look at all of this. Oh, I feel like such a hoarder. I do not know why. I have kept all of this. It's absolutely crazy. I am going to do like a full declutter series and go through all of these drawers because it's just, it's honestly out of control. Like I do not need this much stuff. There is no way. And probably half of it is expired. So these, like both of these are completely full of makeup. These ones here are also full. And then these two are also completely full. And then I've got also like a wardrobe full of stuff. Oh my God, I'm so sad. One of the little diamonds have come out of the band of my engagement ring. I only just realized, um, I have got no idea idea where it would be i'm gonna have to send it off to get fixed that makes me so sad oh so i rang the jeweler um they're going to fix it for free it's like part of the service and stuff um thank goodness so she's all packed up in her little box and they are sending a courier to collect it so i'm just i'm gonna bubble wrap it and pack it in and this little box and then it's going to be collected either this afternoon or first thing in the morning it freaks me out when, like even like not wearing it, like my hand like, oh, I feel like I've lost it. I hate being away from it, um, but yeah, at least it's getting fixed straight away. Honestly, like I got so emotional. I was like, oh my goodness, I broke it. I just spoke to Brandon, he's on his way home and he's like, honey, don't worry, it's a fine, we'll get it fixed. Um, yeah, fright of a lifetime though, honestly. Okay, how cute is this? I've just reorganized my most commonly used nail polishes and all those amazing new nail stickers that I got in the brushes and stuff. Um, in this little bag, I think it's meant to be a makeup bag. It's from, I think it's a Toil or a Toile Collective. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. Um, but I'm going to keep this downstairs. It's kind of like all of my go-tos, my must-haves. I quite often will do my nails like when we're watching a movie or watching TV or something. Um, so it's handy to keep this downstairs. I've got nail polish remover, my faves, got little cotton pads, all of my most used colours, which to be fair, they're all pinks and nudes really. I've got a couple of brights. Um, the nail stickers, like I said, some other ones, a buffing cube, tweezers for the nail stickers. I got cuticle oil. How good is organizing though? Does anyone else just get so excited by organizing? I do. Brandon can't be far. I keep like checking the front door. <laughs> Georgie's here waiting for him too. I need to get this carpet fixed. It's like gone all loose. It's rather annoying. Um, but other sad news, I have managed to tear a hole in my, like in the crotch of all places, in my absolute favorite ever Lululemon tights. 
they're so old I've had these for like 10 years they no longer make them anymore um, so I can't buy a new pair and so I'm thinking I might actually attempt the holes just there I might actually attempt to sew this up. Are we confident in my abilities to do this? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be a sewing machine job, but um, I'm just gonna get a needle and thread and I'm gonna give it a go. See if it works. <laughs> Look who's home. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> did you have fun? I did, I had heaps of fun. And you've been gone since Thursday? Yeah. No, oh my God, no. You've been gone since Sunday morning and it's now Thursday night. I'm exhausted. Yeah? Yeah. How many hours a day were you on the boat again? About 12 hours a day. Oh my god. Oh, tell, tell them what happened on the first day. <laughs> oh, yeah, I spent half the day throwing up. <laughs> Brandon, Peeled over the side of the boat. Brandon got seasick, the yeah, poor thing. It's awful. It's weird though, because you never, ever get seasick. Well, I normally take seasickness tablets. Yeah, it didn't work out, did it? Well, I took different <laughs> ones and it was a bad idea. Oh, um, it sucks. Yeah. We're celebrating his homecoming. We've got some red... Oh, cheese, baby. We've got some red wine. I caught my first marlin. Oh, yes. We've ordered Thai food. And do you want to watch a movie, maybe? Mm. What are you in the mood for? Yeah. What are you in the mood for? Something that if I fall asleep, I won't care too Yeah, much. you're probably going to fall asleep really early yeah, tonight, aren't you? So. You look tired. Your little face looks tired. I'm very relaxed. Oh, hey, yeah. oh, look at you with all your babies. Where's Georgie? Hey. Georgie's probably on the chair, no doubt. What are you yep, doing? look, I found her. There she is. Hey, there she is. Hey, Georgie. Hello, little baby. We've had some unfortunate wedding planning news. The stylist. Oh, yeah. Stylist has cancelled. Um, basically, half the team has moved away or something, and she only has a small team, and she can't take on. Yeah. Well, she wasn't locked in, but she was our preferred stylist. I feel a bit sad because I didn't. I liked her. Yeah. She sent through a list, though, of people she recommends, so yeah. we'll, um, <laughs> we'll have to suss out a few more. But I feel kind of sad because it was like our first official thing. Oh. Look at the boy looking at you. That is so cute. I wish the Palms loved me as much as they love Brandon. Um, well, I've been away. I feel a bit sad because it was like our... It was really like the first thing that we'd made a decision on. Yeah. Wasn't it? Which yeah. kind of sucks. Well, we didn't know whether we could have them anyway because it depended on the... On the date. Of the yeah. Look at so. you with your Palms. How adorable. Yes, dinner's here. I'm honestly so hungry. We ordered so much food. Satay chicken skewers, green curry, Penang curry with prawns, pad thai, coconut rice, and then we have um, some roti bread. We have money bags in there. And I think these are like, yeah, like deep fried um, prawns. Oh, I cannot wait to eat. I'm so hungry. I will not fight you, Father. Okay, it's Friday morning now, and this just arrived. Brandon gets, um, I actually got this for him for, uh, it was Valentine's Day. It's a wine subscription box. It's actually really, really, really good. You go online and you do like a quiz and then they sort of like customize like the picks to what you like. Um, I'm curious to see what we got this month. So it looks like we got a Riesling and then three reds, a Syrah. I'm not sure what this one is. They do each come with like all the information about them, um, like where they're from, what foods to pair with them. They also come with like a recipe that matches them. It's like a really, really cool little thing. Oh, no way. Yeah, this one's to go specifically with prawn pad thai. We had that last night. So the Riesling, a dry Riesling, my fave. Ah, the, one of these is a Sangiovese. Um, which one? This one? And then we've got, ah, Pinot Noir blend. It must be that one. And then this is the Syrah. Ooh, hoo, hoo. that's perfect, actually. We're going over to our neighbours for dinner for pizza and wine. Uh, tonight and to watch a movie so this has arrived in perfect timing oh my goodness i just finished my workout oh it was so hard today i can't even hold the camera still <laughs> i'm gonna make some breakfast now brandon's working we were gonna go out for breakfast but we're waiting for the courier to come and pick the ring up so we can't go today 
which makes me a bit sad. Oh, the veggie garden's flourishing, honey. I reckon our, do you reckon our beetroots might nearly be ready? We're gonna cook up a massive roast. Oh. Actually, we're heading into roast season. Yeah. Through winter, we pretty much do like a big roast every Sunday, don't we? Mm -hmm. it's, like our, it's like our thing. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Breakfast is served. I discovered the most amazing thing while you were away. You're about to witness it with your very own eyes. Yeah. Porridge Ooh. with chia seeds. Oh, yeah. And I've put honey and cinnamon and apples on it. But the chia seeds make it like so much volume. Yeah. And I hardly can even get through it. Yeah, wow. Enjoy. I'm excited. Thank you. Enjoy. Okay, just got back from doing the grocery shopping. I thought I might as well do it, seeing I've had an hour free. Lots of fruit and veg today. Poor Brandon, he's just trying to do a workout. Still doesn't feel right. It is. Like the whole world still swaying from being on the boat. On the boat for three days. <laughs> <laughs> Little unboxing haul. <laughs> no, not really. But I did get, while I was at the supermarket, all of the ingredients to make lamb ragu. Um, we're going to have a family dinner here tomorrow night and I'm going to cook it for the fam. And fingers crossed it actually tastes good because it's my first time ever making it. Oh, also, I just got this cute little package from Mecca. Lots of new releases that have come out. Guys, look what I've got my hands on. The Born This Way Matte. This is the Too Faced foundation that you guys have been asking me to review for so long. So, I'll be shooting that next week or... Yes, next week, and then it'll go up on my channel next week as well. But lots of other goodies in here. The new Tatcha finishing powder, which I'm excited to try. Some Summer Fridays, some Hourglass. Lots of goodies in here. Okay, this is lunch today. Toast. Oh, actually, I have to show you guys this bread. This is the bread that I buy from Coles. It's low carb. It's pretty much like all like grains and stuff, and it's actually really, really yummy. I don't know about you, but when I eat normal bread, I just, I don't know, it kind of just makes me feel not great. Um, so, yeah, I really love this stuff. So, toast, avocado, cherry tomatoes, my fave, uh, feta, salt and pepper delicious so doing something right now that i have never done before i put henna in my brows i've got no idea if this is going to work or if they're going to stay like this permanently <laughs> imagine that they did i also failed to google prior to beginning this process uh, whether or not you can put henna over microblading <laughs> We'll see if this works. I've also got a hair mask in. Having a bit of a... It is 20 past 5, um, but I've got a hair mask in as well. I'm just having like a... A pamper session. Also putting a face mask on because I figured if my brows are looking scary, <laughs> the rest of my face might as well. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud. It is absolutely amazing for breakouts. Um... I'm sort of breaking out a little bit after eating that Thai food last night. And the hair mask that I have in at the minute is Lush Roots. Oh, if you've never tried it, I highly, highly, highly recommend. It's got like peppermint and like menthol in it. And when you put it on your scalp, it nearly like burns cold, but in a good way. I know that that sounds scary, but it's honestly not. It feels incredible. Okay, second coat is on now. Uh, according to the instructions, I do like the first coat, let it dry. Second coat, let it dry, and then third coat, let it dry. It's getting darker and darker. I have no idea how this is going to end out. Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just rinsed it out. It actually came out really, really good. I was a little bit scared. I went downstairs and showed Brandon, and he was like, oh, tinting your eyebrows, are you? And I was like, um, actually, no. This is henna tattoo. And he's like, oh, henna tattoo, what's that? I'm like... Oh, apparently it lasts about six weeks. Anyway, he just starts cacking himself laughing. He's like, baby, I'm in it for the ride. I'm here for it. Let's do it. It was so funny. Um, but now that it's rinsed out, it actually looks really quite natural. Like on the skin, there's no like harsh, like blockiness or anything. I'm really, really impressed. I have no idea. And I mean, considering like my skincare routine and stuff, I've got no idea if this is actually going to last and stay looking like this for six weeks. I feel like I'll probably only get two weeks out of it, but... Very happy with the results. I like it. Brandon is having an absolute field day in the kitchen <laughs> this morning. 
fresh herbs from the garden. Got the mortar and pestle out. Our famously fresh delicious. Fresh marlin from the ocean. Fresh marlin from the ocean. This is some of the stuff you caught. Oh, you're going to actually take this out and marinate it. Yeah, well, that's what that is. <gasps> He's already marinated some. Let's have a look. So what's this flavor? Um, that's honey soy ginger chili. Yeah, and this one? And that one's just honey soy garlic. Oh, yummy. Sounds it's a bit of a day of cooking, isn't it? Yeah. I'm a bit excited. I'm also extra excited today because you know that ragu that I've been going on about since last Sunday? Saturday now. Finally, we're finally going to make it today. So the family's coming over, cooking dinner for them. And it's going down. I found a recipe and it's going to take like four hours-ish to cook the sauce. Oh, so you yeah, probably have to start that at like two. 1.30 this afternoon. Yeah. You guys need to see what Brandon is doing right now. <laughs> That's a secret to getting stains out of your clothes. <laughs> Potato masher. Oh my god. So he's soaking his clothes in the sink in nappy sand and he's uh, using a potato masher. What, what would you say is, uh, what would you call this process that you're completing? Is this agitating? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, here we go guys. These are all of the newies. Uh, cannot wait. How many have we got? Four, eight, nine. Yeah, twelve. Twelve newies. And these ones, I feel, probably almost ready uh, to go in a larger pot. Yay! Alright, they're all done. We had uh, <laughs> a few little, mishaps. A few mishaps, but I think we're on the right track. So we need eight more because I need this box to be filled perfectly. And then I want to start another box. Let's just go buy bulk groceries so that we can get bulk pots. Okay guys, this is so exciting. I'm officially starting the lamb ragu. I have to cut all these vegetables up, like cubed, really, really tiny, carrot, celery, onion. I've got fresh thyme from our garden, fresh uh, rosemary from the garden. I'm gonna chop all of this up first and then I have to start braising the lamb. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my God, the onion gets me every time. It makes my eyes water so bad. Is anyone else like super sensitive to onion? Oh, oh that burns. Oh. Okay, so I braised the lamb, the veggies are on, the celery, the carrot, the onion. And that's got to like really, really brown for like 15 to 20 minutes. And then I add garlic, then I add tomato paste, then I add tin tomatoes, and then red wine, beef stock, and then I think it goes in the oven for like three hours. Um, oh, bay leaves, the rosemary, the thyme, all of that will go in as well. I've never cooked ragu before, so this is like... Fingers crossed because we don't have backup food if this fails. I'm gonna have to order pizza for the family. <laughs> I have my helper chef now. So pouring the red wine in, what was it? Deglazing, deglazing. And you gotta scrape up all that brown stuff at the bottom of the pot because apparently that is where all the flavor all the is. Flavor. Okay, fresh herbs are in now. Beef stock's in, wine's in. It is smelling like heaven. Isn't it smelling amazing? Yeah. It's in the lamb's back in and then it's got to stay in the oven for two and a half hours. Fingers crossed it comes out looking good. <laughs> we have a cheese board, but in this little folder, my sister's here. This is my beautiful <laughs> sister. She's got wedding, she's my maid of honor and she's got wedding planning things in there and she doesn't know how to act on camera so she's hiding. <laughs> but we have a cheese board and I can't wait to see. What about the, um, We're so excited. Branky. This one is salt and pepper. We need, we need a Branko. The next day we have bridal party. And we're gonna have, <gasps> oh I know, and we're gonna have the contact. I didn't know if you're going a three or five, so I've got oh. five just in case. Oh, yes. So here's, here's my <laughs> bridesmaids and here's my groomsmen. Because if I need to whip that best man into line, I will do that if he's not coming to party. I'm ready to whip. I will whip that best man. I'll say, what are you doing for my blankie? Aww. And I, I will whip him into Aww. line. And here, I printed out ten. So you have five and you have five. Aww. If you would like to use these for your bridal party. Aww. So we'll put the name and the relationship. Like yeah. How you know them. Yeah. Why you want them in your bridal party. Yeah. How they support both you and your fiancé. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
will this person still be in your life in 20 years? Oh, so these are good questions. How can this one is one for one events, one but one unfortunately one you one can't one see one this one section. One this one section's one a secret one section. One What's in that section? It's events. So What's events? Uh, like, things that I need to plan for a bride. Events oh. I need to plan for a bride. Oh. So they're on my computer at home because I couldn't bring that. So oh. Sorry. Can I know those events? You can so know those events. <laughs> I'm probably going to need a groom's help with some of those. Okay. Yep. Yep, I've got it all, all at home. Oh my God, After I've gone through show and tell, so this, I may need to... Well, I might just need to take this section out if ever you need to see it. Otherwise, you need to stay out of this section. Oh. Where, where, where. Oh. I will. I will. <laughs> like police tape. I'll get yes. a zip <laughs> and then a lock. Yeah. <laughs> so, Hide the key. I love <laughs> oh, to you're be so cute. I do love this. I do love this one. I love I you love so this. much, Wiz. I love the wedding, Wiz. You made me quiet. Yeah. Oh, don't cry. Oh my goodness, I just pulled it out of the oven. It looks delicious. It's been in there for three hours now. We've got water boiling to cook the pasta, and I'm about to put the bread in. It's all happening. It looks seriously amazing. It smells amazing. Um, taste test is going to come in hot. Oh, we've got some fresh basil to go with it, so. How, how are you feeling yeah, so far? Yeah, it looks good. It looks so good. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Officially. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Um, Brandon <laughs> has tasted it so far. It's and he's delicious. pretty happy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. This morning's tea selection, another fave. Um, I'm pretty sure this was limited edition though. I might need to check on their website. We're nearly out. I need to buy some more because <laughs> this hurts my heart. <laughs> so it's Sunday morning now. Um, what time did the fam stay here till last night? Brandon's just eating his like breakfast 11. that I lovingly made mm. for him. Thank you. I'm a little bit triggered because he likes his porridge. I made my chia porridge situation. He likes his porridge with whole oats. What they're called rolled oats. Mm -hmm. They're not quick oats. Um, I, I didn't like the texture. I feel like it's all chunky. Yeah, that's what's good about it. That's not good. It's like, looks like bird seed. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do today either. I'm going to go do a leg workout. He's going to go next door and do a leg workout. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm kind of feeling lazy. And I'm kind of feeling like I just want to lay around and do not much. Do it. <laughs> Um, Sunday fun day. Didn't you want to go to the um, nursery? I did want to go, but I'm a bit lazy now. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Um, but I finished last week's vlog at about the same time on Sunday, at about lunchtime. So I'm going to finish this one here as well. Um, if you want to see what we do get up for the rest of the day, you'll just have to watch the next one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Give it a like. Give it a thumbs up. I feel like I'm always eating. <laughs> I'm always eating too. This is what we do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and we will see you in the next one.